Lung Gang, Lung Gang. This question here was submitted to us on the Lung Gang Reddit page by Abian underscore 789. If you guys want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community and have an opportunity to be on my TikTok or YouTube, then feel free to join and submit your questions there. This was an interesting one. It said, prove set KX plus tan KX is equivalent to tan half KX plus pi over four. Now, we want to take one side and make it look like the other, okay? Now, there might be some cheeky tricks that I show you guys here, so make sure you save this video as part of your revision so you don't forget about it, okay? Now, which side is the easiest to manipulate? In my opinion, it's the second one. Uh, sorry, the one on the left, because they are separate, which we can rewrite as fractions, and kx and half kx, I'm already thinking about the double angle IDs. This angle is half of this one, okay? So that's what I'm gonna go with, but we may hit a sticking point and I'm gonna show you guys what you do if that ever happens, okay? So, let's take the left-hand side and do some manipulation with it. The first thing I would personally do is change both of these into sine and cos and see what manipulation I can do afterwards because if we're gonna use the double angle IDs, you know, we have double angle IDs for tan, we don't have them for sec. So I'm gonna rewrite that as one over cos which is why I'm then gonna change tan as well, okay? So sec is one over cos kx plus tan, which is sine kx over cos kx, okay? Which we can then combine into one. So we get one plus sine kx over cos kx. Now when we get to here, I'm already stuck. What do I do with this to make it look like this? Okay. I don't know. There's so many things we can do. Obviously with sine kx, there's only one thing you can do, which is change it to two sine cos. All right. But with that two sine cos and the plus one, what expansion do I use for cosine? Um, I'm not too sure. So this is what you do in the exam. Okay. You'd get a separate piece of paper yeah, from the examiner or with a pencil, you're gonna take this side, you're gonna manipulate it, and see if you can make it look like this, okay? So there's a Lung Gang special. So, it's cheating, but it's not cheating at the same time. Let's see what we can do with this. So, this is with pencil, so you can rub it out after. No face, no case. So we're gonna use the addition rule for tan. How does the addition rule for tan go? It goes tan of this, tan of a half kx plus tan of pi over 4, all divided by 1 minus tan of this times tan of this. Now this might be one route you want to take because tan of pi over 4 is 1. And then you're saying, okay, well, what do I then do with this? All right, well, the other alternative is you change to sine and cos. They have to do the additional for both of them. I think it's a bit uh, long, but it could work. Maybe try it. Let me know what you guys think. So you get tan of a half kx plus one over one minus tan of a half kx. Then from here, what do you do? Well, it definitely doesn't look anything like this, okay? Well, maybe from here, I might start changing it to sine and cos. Okay, so we have sine of a half kx over cos half kx plus 1 all over 1 minus sine half kx over cos half kx. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is get rid of fractions on fractions. So I'm going to protect the top and the bottom. I'm going to multiply both sides by cos half kx. Because when I expand that into here, I'm left with sine half kx plus cos half kx. All over, when we expand that into here, we get cos half kx uh, minus, that cancels when you multiply in sine half kx. Okay. And again, what do we do with this information? 
Well, there's a couple of things we can do. And the fact that I can now do so much manipulation here makes me think actually manipulating the right side was probably easier, okay? Well, it depends on your experience here, but I'll show you guys if you don't have experience, if you're in the middle of exam, what you could do um, is I can see this is kind of close, because remember we were thinking about the double angle ID, right, for this. Can we somehow get the double angle ID here? The answer is yes, we can. By multiplying this by something and making it look like the cos double angle ID. There's three expansions for the cosine double angle IDs. There's the uh, two cos squared minus one, there's one minus two cos squared, and there's cos squared minus sine squared, okay? With this, what do I need to multiply this by to make it cos squared minus sine squared? Well, you'd have to multiply it using the difference of two squares principle. In fact, I'm going to run out of space potentially on that side. I'm going to do it here. Cos half kx plus sine half kx. Okay, which means we have to do the same thing here. Apologies for the, the small writing there, okay? So this I multiplied it by itself, yeah? Because then when I expand it, I'm gonna get cos squared minus sine squared, okay? And then the numerator will figure it out, okay? Uh, now I'm uh, running out of space here. I'm gonna do it over here. So on the denominator, we already said what that big gives us, right? So we get cos squared, cos squared, half kx minus sine squared half kx. Okay. Now on the numerator, what are we getting? Uh, we're getting, it's the exact same, right? So we're going to be squaring this, sine squared half kx. And then we square the last one, cos squared half kx. And then when we expand this, you're going to get uh, 2, we're going to get 2 cos half kx sine half kx. Now what do you notice? Sine squared plus cos squared is 1, and this is the double angle ID for sine. Yeah? So we can now reverse that process. So on that denominator, we have cos of this is the double angle ID for cos. That just goes to this, cos kx. And this is just 1. Plus, that is just sine kx. Okay? Now, I'd be at this point where I realize, actually, this is the side we needed to manipulate. So I wouldn't be writing in pencil anymore. It would be this that I actually get rid of. Because from here, I'm just going to copy backwards to this. Okay? So this is the same as this. Which is then sec kx plus tan kx. And that's proved. So guys, it's very important that you don't just simplify both sides to the same thing. You will not get full marks for that. We manipulated this, realized we were stuck. I would cross it out in the exam. And I'd say, actually, I'm going to start again. Yeah, so this is a kind of no face, no case situation. We started with that side now. We started with the right-hand side. And we simplified it very beautifully down to our solution on the left side. Okay. Now, what would you do if um, you didn't see this step? It's a actually more common step than you think, yeah, being able to recognize something like this. And really that only came from comparing it to the denominator of what we simplified over here. That's what I realized, okay, I can make that cos squared minus sine squared, which is the double angle ID for cos. Now it's a bit of a stretch, but you know, the only way you could really do this, actually, I don't know if you can really. No, I don't think you can. I was going to suggest you can use the double angle ID for cos, but then I just remembered that, that it would be squared anyway. So saying cos kx is 2 cos squared minus 1, but then with the squared there, 
introducing CODS KX just becomes a pain. Um, and I'm not sure things would cancel there uh, if I was to double check. And then on the numerator, for sure, you just want to stay away because getting a two sine CODS multiplied together, it's just not going to work. So actually, I don't even think uh, I retract my statement there. I don't think there's a, a nice other kind of trick you could do there. This is a question that would be an experienced question. But like I said, it's a really, really tough question. So thanks, ABAN, what was it, 789 on Reddit for submitting this question. Just need to clarify some things. Um, so yeah, guys, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content. And if you're interested in my A-level maths courses, more details in the description. And like I said, feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. There are some very smart people in that place who are willing to help you out. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.